Hey, what's going on, family? Well, I'm going to give you a little breakdown on who I am. Man, I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I spent probably a good 12 years over on the south side of Chicago. I started my childhood, got started over on 111th and Green Street. I wasn't a rich kid. I, there was a white man living in a black man's area. And I got along with a lot of people. So you might hear me reference the word nigger a lot. But that's not what I mean when I say that word. I mean my nigger. My buddy, my friend, whatever. There's a different way you say it. You know, there's a pronunciation difference uh, when you say these type of words. So, you must always make sure you say it correctly. So, um, I think when I was like 11 or 12, we done moved up to the southeast side of Chicago. And, uh, after that, I was up there till about 18. I, I had went to high school up there. I had had a job. And then my parents wanted to move. But I wasn't ready to move yet. Actually, they moved. They were moving when I was about 16. And I didn't want to move. I ended up staying on the southeast side of Chicago for about two years. I was still trying to finish school. And there's a lot of things I was trying to do. I was still working. I was still having fun with my friends. I was preparing myself for life. So, it come down to it, I got homesick. I ain't gonna lie. I don't have no brothers. I don't have no sisters. And I missed my mom. So, anyway, my job wanted to transfer me, transfer me over to the northwest side where my parents were at. So... I think God kind of like intervened in there because I was trying to find a way to, to tell my mom that I, I wanted to come home and this I think God found a way for me to do that. So here's the thing on this is though I was so happy to go up there and, and, and be back home with my mom so much man because I, she was such a great woman. She raised me. The father was not there for a long, long time because he was an idiot, alcoholic, drug addict, drunk. So I finally I meet this I meet a girl, you know I'm dating her for a long time, about a year and a half, almost two years. You know I'm I end up going to different schools, trying to become this, trying to become that. I ended up, I was always been to meant to be a cook. I've been a chef right now for over 20 some plus years. So, um, in 2012, I, or 2010, let me go 2010. I found myself in trouble with the law a few times. So, I ended up doing a good amount of time. And when I finally came home, I was sitting home on uh, what they call house arrest for a while because I was part of the parole shit. I developed a blood clot in my leg. And I didn't realize that I had a blood clot in my leg because I never knew what a blood clot was. Well, they had to rush me to the hospital. I couldn't breathe. And the thing almost killed me. So, I filed for disability. Because they told me I had, I had, um, got diagnosed with lupus. So, and I was going to be, pretty much going to be, end up having a lot of things that were going to end up being wrong with me. And because lupus is a, 
it's a disease that is destroys your organs, takes you out completely. There's no cure, no wood, no doctor, and nobody knows how you contract this. They just don't know. It just magically appears one day, like poof. There you are. So, I am meant to suffer right now in tremendous pain. I've been suffering since, like, I would say age maybe 25. But I wasn't diagnosed in 2010. So, um, I get a lawyer, I, just, I get my SSI. So now I've been on SSI for eight years. Seven years now. Seven years, sorry. Not eight. Almost eight, but seven. Do you know anything about this? I hate it. I wish I could go back to work. You told me the company destroyed But now I have developed lupus. I also have developed fibromyalgia. I developed diabetes too. And I also had just got recently diagnosed with peripheral vascular disease. I had an ultrasound done on my arteries because I was complaining about my feet and legs being numb. Doctor never did, never, he just said my arteries are blocked. Now when I went to the hospital, hospital, they, um, what they did is they they did a, a ultrasound and a CT scan and found out that my head I had peripheral vascular disease. So now I suffer so much. I have so many different pain meds I have to take. And here's a kicker, right? After them blood clots started hitting my lungs and stuff like that. I had one hit me 2013, and, and that one nearly killed me too. So they decided in 2014 to put a filter in me. Now, this filter has not worked from day one. I have been hit four more different times with blood clots, 2016, 2017, and twice in 2018. Two thousand nineteen I'm I'm I've I have not had a blood clot yet because they switched my blood thinner to from warfin to eloquis. But it still does not make it right because this filter I have in me is defective and now there is a lawsuit out there for this filter and I have the right filter in me and I also have all the proof. Of every time I've been attacked by a blood clot and it hit my lung due to this defective filter. So I will be receiving money very, very soon over this. So, this is a little bit about me. Now, I grew up on the street. Very street smart. Not that I'm not all that school smart. I know a lot of stuff from you know from school, but my knowledge. <clears throat> I'm in a lot of pain right now. My knowledge is in the street and from the street. I am what you call a very wise street nigga. Okay, so let's not get it fucking confused. I'm a realist. I don't sugarcoat shit. I give my full opinion to them. If you don't want my, if you don't want the truth, then don't ask me nothing. If you want somebody to lie to you and bullshit you and tell you what you want to hear, go ask your mama. Okay. Because I'm not that person. I'll, I'll, I'll will address any subject anybody wants to debate me on. Immigration, Trump food box, 6-9, I'm sorry, snitch 9, Takashi. Any 
street thing you think that you can have an argument with me about or a debate about with me about and you think you know more about it than me you're more than welcome to try have a good day everybody leave a description in the comments hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like it have a good day family